Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Doyle's Garage. It is a beautiful day out here on the plains of Colorado. My name is Doyle, this is my garage, and if you are new here, I hope to earn your subscription today. So, if you saw my last video, you got introduced to Project Phoenix. You might ask yourself, well, how did Project Phoenix get to my house? She was on the other side of Colorado. Well, behind me is Evan's Suburban. And Evan is not here, so why do I have the Suburban? Well, that's because the transmission decided to make it to my driveway, and that was it. That was all she wrote. She wasn't going to make the 260 mile venture back home. So, this is Project Sandy. It was a 1992 Chevy Suburban. It is four wheel drive. It has a small block Chevy it's sitting on 35s. And it is my brother's adventure rig. Well, I give him shit all the time, but the new one is uh, he's not allowed to buy new tires. I, I think that's what it is. Because he bought new tires for the last race truck, and as you guys can tell, it's not around. And then he bought tires for the van, which is in there. And then that ended up leaving his possession, and it was gone for a while, and now I have it. But he didn't get those new tires either. And then he puts brand new 35-inch tires on this thing that are super-duper uber-sick, and he gets to sit at my house. So, on top of the transmission, it is awful, awful, awful anemic. So, we are considering doing a TBI to carb swap. Um, the TBI is 500 CFM, a two barrel is 500 CFM. Getting a four barrel to distribute into an adapter and into a TBI intake manifold is going to be a nightmare. And it's way too much, way, way too much carb for this specific application. So, TBI being two barrel, it shouldn't be too bad fuel distribution wise. And then I will show you guys how we're going to get fuel. It's still up for debate on which way we're going to go about. Evan's got a couple ways, and I've got my way, so it's his truck. Whatever happens, happens. Um, other than that, we are thinking about sticking a stock cam in it out of, like, a 79 three-quarter ton pickup that's just a Chevy 350. It's, like, 240 lift, something like that. Just super tiny but bigger than what's in the TBI, and then send him down the road. So he'll be carbureted with a two barrel and tuned and timed with a new camshaft and a new transmission. So that is what's going on with this one. For a more detailed walk around, y'all are going to have to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button so that I know that you want that. And next time that Evan is out here, I will have him do a full walk around. So, that's about it. I don't have any updates for you on the Elko, because I'm just waiting on parts, and then you guys will get an update on that. That thing runs great, and I'm just done fucking with it, because I'm tired of breaking it. Um, as you guys saw in my shorts, that thing's getting its new wiring harness that's going in, and I just ordered $640 worth of parts that I am waiting for in the mail to have the van back on the ground. With a brand new stance and a brand new sound and a brand new tune up. So, I will have a daily and my wife will have a backup. And she is on her way out to go get a proper front bumper for a 2012 Dodge Journey and a replacement passenger door. And then I need to acquire a driver's fender. And then we will be body working her car and wrapping her car here very, very shortly. And then we gotta get some fancy wheels and tires on it, and then get it paid off, and then we're buying her a truck. So, got lots going on around here. Get out there and wrench on something. Doesn't have to be car related. I got fish stuff I'm working on. I got burb stuff I'm working on. Uh, I got birds out here that still aren't big enough to go out here. I'm trying to get the house clean is always something. Have a good day and God bless y'all. I will talk to you soon. Bye!